Hey there, soldiers. It's Michelle here, and it's Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. It's August. Apparently, I think it's, is it national? It might be national, um, Granny Square Month or something. Because originally they had put... The things we're making Thursday coordinators had put um, the Granny Square month back like in April or May or something. I don't know. They switched it. Sorry. That video was supposed to be for, or that alarm was supposed to be for tomorrow. Uh, today was the first day of school and trying to get the alarms figured out properly is going to take a few days. Um, so, yeah. Things are making Thursday. That's what we're working on. <laughs> um... So they, they switched Granny Square Month around because it was a, like one of those like national Granny Square Month or international Granny Square Month or something like that. So that's what August is, is one of those. Um, and I am not quiet about the fact that I don't love Granny Squares. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put a picture of the bag that Angela sent me. I think it's really cute. Uh, it's Starburst. She was trying to tell me who did it and I can't remember what she said. Um, anyway, she followed a pattern for it. It's this very cute bag. Um, if she remembers and she watches the video, she can put it in the comments. So you're welcome to go look and see if she has made a comment um about where the pattern came from but anyway i like this bag i think it's really cute and i'm gonna also put a picture up of the hats that i made for my son because they're called granny squares now personally i when i think of a granny square i very much think of that where you have the cluster of three double crochets as spread out and it goes around that is the traditional granny square but a lot of people somewhere along the way um these like where it's circled it's filled in around and moves out and then turns into a square somewhere along the way that is um also commonly referred to as a granny square nowadays so um i thought i would share them because the pattern calls them granny squares the bucket hat um, has circles, and that pattern is free to do the bucket hat with the circles. I paid for her summi summertime granny square squares to get the fish. So um, I will link both patterns down below, and that will be cool. So I have one more pattern to link down below, but. Let me just tell you, my friend, my cat, is coming to visit. So here's my cat. I made his hat a long time ago. I made his beard a long time ago. My um, daughter found the glasses at a thrift store. Made his boots a couple of weeks ago, or months ago. Got to finish and do the back ones, but I haven't got there. But this, this right here, his new cape. Um, technically, it should be like that. But that looks weird, so I fold it up right there. I may go in and sew it so that it's just that way. But I wanted to show you this. Okay, um, this comes from the Granny Square Mosaic. It's Overlay Mosaic um, from Juniper and Oaks. Of course, that's linked below. Um, what I did was follow it. Um, this is a two weight cotton from paint box, hundred percent cotton yarn. Um, and I followed the directions and I went out as far until I was like, okay, that's about the size. And then I started playing with the stitches on the corners to change them, to make them shapes that are more rounded instead of squares for the for the um, ends of the cape and so I just kind of 
fudge sands, but um, the traditional or the original square that she shows is a square. So I really like it. I think it's fun. Um, I think it's cute on the cat. Here's the back. I think the back also looks very cool. As I was making this, because I was, I think partly because I was making it with cotton, I was like, this actually could make a really fun dishcloth. Um, I think that would make a very fun dishcloth. So anyway, um, that's what I did. Also, colors. Um, I'm going to put up here a picture of the bird of the month. So you can see I've chose my colors for this to also go with the bird of the month. I, when I got, when I saw the bird of the month, I was like, what am I going to do? So I'm going to link, um, the, I'm going to, I'm going to tag Juniper and Oak so she can see what I did with her granny square. And I'm going to tag, um, Judy so that you guys can go and check out her channel she every month she does the bird of the month but she also has other things going on so go check her out as well and I think that covers everything for this week I know that September is going to be shawls so um, you you know what you could do because uh, for the things we're making Thursday, we don't really care about whether or not you're um, doing a whip or you, you know, you don't have to finish the project within a certain time period. Whereas like the bird of the month is that you have a time period. Mr. Yarn Challenge, you have a time period. Um, the, uh, things we're making Thursday, you can work on whips. So... If you find a shawl that uses the granny square, um, you could start it this month and finish it in September or work on it and it would count for both months. Yeah. Um, I have started a shawl besides shawls I've already worked on. And I'm like, if I don't get it in the next couple of weeks, if I don't get much progress then September, I will have extra motivation for um, things were making Thursday to get that shawl done for my friends. So, um, that's exciting. Anyway, that's, that's kind of it. Remember to hook the subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. And remember, when I say leave some yarns, that means leave me a comment. If you want to leave yarn emojis, that's awesome. But I would love some comments. It's my favorite part is to talk to the people as you guys talk back. Um, and stuff. And just a reminder, on Wednesdays, um, I have a, excuse me, phone. I have my notifications on because I'm expecting an important phone call. Anyway, um, I have a yarn party that you can go to my community tab and there's some information about it there. And so you are welcome to come join me in my yarn party if that intrigues you. Um, and if I get full or requests enough requests for a different time, I might consider doing like a evening one. I'm in Utah, so it's mountain standard, mountain daylight, mountain time. Anyway, remember to let your light shine through your creations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!